Today, we're going to remove the passenger side view mirror on a 2013 Chevy Silverado. Alright, the tools that you're going to be using is going to be a 10 millimeter socket. There it is, 10. And a trim removal tool. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start off by putting the trim removal tool right in between here, anywhere you can. And just go ahead and push it out, just like so. There it is. Uh, just go ahead and pick it up. Make sure you don't step on it and break it. Perfect. Alright. Now, oh, looks like we might have to remove the door panel to access this. Uh, or you could grab a wrench and wrench these out. Let me go ahead and try to wrench those out. Um, 10 millimeter socket. Let's go ahead and drive that out. All right. And hopefully we can do this with a wrench. Otherwise, we'll have to remove the door. All right, it looks like I could get one of them. Let's see if, uh, hopefully we could remove the second one as well. Let's see why not. Yep, all right. So let me just go ahead and work all of these out. All right, and it looks like you could pull this back a little bit, just enough to get a wrench in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrench that loose with a small 10 socket, same one I was using earlier. Now it's loose. Now we should be able to hand remove these. Make sure you do not drop them because you will have to remove the door. So I'm gonna use both hands real quick to make sure I don't drop that one. I might suggest using some needle nose to help you out. Just in case you got some fat stuffy fingers like mine. So now I'm going to go ahead and loosen this one up. All right, there they are, all three. Now the mirror should be loose. But you know what? I was actually looking at the replacement. That is a long ass pigtail. And there's not a connection right there. So it looks like we just might have to remove the door. We'll see right now. All right, so it looks like we will have to remove the door. So let's go ahead and start removing everything that needs to be removed. Go ahead and start off with this little lock. You'll need a small flathead to pry this little lock out. Then that comes off. There's also another little point we're gonna clean, clean, take off. All right. There's also one more, my bad. Up there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, come on out. Come on out. Could use your trim tool removal. There it is. Pick that up so you don't lose that. It is 10 millimeter to get these out. So let's go ahead and get those out. Let's go ahead and try these out real quick. I might need to lift the door handle up for this one. Go ahead and do that with both hands. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is remove this whole handle here. Now we're gonna grab our trim tool removal and we're just gonna Apply it on all the edges to pop the door out. Just like so, you might need both hands. Get the whole door loose. I'm gonna use both hands real quick. And I forgot one more real quick. This one is down here. Just like so. Get a better view. There it is. 
there's two 10 mils. Let's go ahead and drive those out. Grab an extension, set on reach. Make sure you don't drop those screws. Doesn't really matter because you're ready to fill the door. Alright, and there it is. The door is nice and loose. Go ahead and just pick it up. And that it comes. And we'll follow our cable. take off our door handle or our control switch use both hands real quick all right and here it is so we'll just go ahead and disconnect this pigtail it has a little security on there so we'll pop open the security and might need both hands to get this out let's go ahead and push it down real quick so we can see what we're doing I'm gonna need both hands all right there it is I took it out of its slot from there it looks like it has a security clip but in reality it does not just push it down and out it comes out now it looks like it is untied oh it's not I thought it's gonna be taped over so let's just go ahead and pull this out and pull it out through here uh, it's tied down somewhere. See. Hmm. Man, I really hope we don't have to take this off. Because it's not budging at all. We might have to take that off real quick. Let me try to figure that out real quick. All right, so there's actually a little clip on the wire. I don't know if you can see it, it's that little white speck right there. So we'll have to use, uh, don't know if that was it or not. But anyways, uh, you'll see it right now when I remove it. I'm gonna use this one here. Let's see if we can get it out. If not, maybe a flat head one or a flat one. Like this one, that's not curved, I like that one there. Try. Come on, bad boy, get out. All right, so I wasn't able to get it out, but I was able to pull the tape out from where it was connected. Uh, oh, look, here's another one, just like it. Actually, there's two. Go ahead, see if we can get these out. These damn things. <clears throat> I mean, this trim tool, removal tool, should make it easy. There it is. There it is. All right, so now let's go ahead and pull the cable through. Right through there. Got stuck. All right, there it is. So now let's come to this other side. Looks like it might have a little latch right there. So we might have to pry this off. See. Well, I think, oh, I think the old people glued it on there. <laughs> Look, you can see the glue. Get some more light in here. Well, that's not making any justification whatsoever. There it is, all clued up. So, I mean, it's loose. Now I have to take that off by yanking on it because it's glued down. So let me go ahead and take it off. 
All right, so I want to go get some help. My buddy here, Mo, but he didn't really help me out. All I did is Hulk time smash. There it is. <laughs> that shit is hella glued on there. Look at that shit. Man, it's going to be a bitch to get all this glue off, though. This is the uh, window glue to seal the windows shut. We have some right here. This thing is no joke. It's like cement. It's rubber cement. Wow. So, I mean, that's how you get that out. I struggled, but that's how you get that out. Hopefully you don't have to go through the same. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.